Welcome to the Jamf Pro Reporting Solutions Series, where we highlight BI and reporting tools that integrate with Jamf Pro. This is part two for Power BI. In this tutorial, we are going to cover a few of the visualization types and create the beginnings of a Jamf Pro status page and computers page. This covers just the very basics to give you the tools to begin creating the visualizations and reports that best suit your organizational needs. If you need further inspiration, assistance, or want to share your tips and tricks, we have a link to a Jamf Nation post in the description of this video. Let's begin. One of the first Jamf status questions that are common is how many computers and mobile devices are in a Jamf Pro and what is their management and supervision status? Let's go ahead and create these as tables. To start with the computers, begin by searching ID and make sure to grab the computer's ID as ID is in almost every data model. Go ahead and switch it to account and there you go, we have the number of computers that are in a Jamf Pro. You can also rename this by right-clicking it and clicking Rename. Once the date is there, you can drag it around, change the font, change text, size, anything to meet your visualization needs. In this case, I just moved it as an indented and then reduced the size so it didn't take up too much of the white space. Now let's go ahead and repeat this for the management status of the computers. Search for management and be sure to grab it from the computers because applications, mobile devices, and other categories also have a management status as well. You'll notice when we put this up here, now it says true and false. In the filter section, you can click it just to show me the true statements and then switch it to account. Also, I suggest renaming this to count of managed devices so that it's more human readable. Then again, like with the previous one, you're able to move it around, resize it, reshape it, and adjust the way that it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and put the video on turbo mode while I replicate the same work, but for mobile devices. However, I will include the supervision status for mobile devices as well. With such limited white space on each of the pages for Power BI, it's recommended that you use the tabs on the bottom, which I created the Jamf Pro summary, computers, applications, mobile devices, and their applications to represent your data. Be careful about not putting too much information on a single page. Let's go ahead and jump into the computers page and show off a few of the different types of visuals. Starting with smart and static groups, we start by checking the name of the smart group and then also adding the computer name. When you create a list, a values field shows under the visualizations tab. Everything in the values is a column in the table. You can add a second column by adding the data field to the values. However, this will create a line for each unique pairing. So this is similar to total union. What we want to do is have a count in the second column, so change the computer name to count of computer name like we did in the first part of this tutorial. Then like in the first part of the tutorial, move it around and make it look like the way that you would like it to. Time for a bar chart. What I'm going to do is make a descending order bar chart of the types of computers in this Jamf Pro instance. Expand out the fields, and find the computer details dot model and drag this or check the box. This will create a table like before. However, if you select a different visualization, you can change the way it looks. This presents new information. The axis is what you are looking for. The value is what you're going to count against. And then the legend is a way to further divide visually the chart. Go ahead and resize and move this in your page until you're happy with the way it looks. And then you're done. Let's say you really don't know what you're looking for and you want an organic way of finding the information. The Q&A mode is one of the most powerful tools in Power BI. To get it, double click any blank area and begin simply typing a question. Let's see if we can get a list of all the unique usernames for the computers in this Jamf Pro instance. Start by typing list of unique and username and then it populates a list of things that it thinks you're looking for. Right there in the bottom is what we're looking for. Once you're happy with this, click the icon and this converts it to a traditional visualization and you can edit from here like we have any of the previous visualizations. There we go, a very basic framework to build a workbook from. In the next tutorial, we will cover how to get this uploaded to the Power BI's cloud service and set up a data refresh policy, then finally get this shared within your organization.